Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to get STMath on your computers. Open up a browser, go to the Helen Cordero website, which is helencordero.aps.edu. Go to resources, which is slightly right of the turtle logo, and scroll down to STMath and the activation code. I would write it down before you continue. That way when it asks you for the code you can stick this code in. So you're going to click on there and once you've uh, responded to the cues and added in the uh, activation code you should see this. And then you will click on the penguin. And for your students who are on ST Math, which is all of second grade and some of first and a few of kinder, they will go to the equal sign, and I can also post a training video for that. For those children who do not have licenses, you can also go here. But you have to teach, uh, type in your teacher credentials, which you got at, at training or in the email or both. And once you've logged in as a teacher, hopefully you've already created your class during training or when ever you've had a chance go to test drive and I usually start them with the transitional kinder because that's got the technology interaction piece they've done this in the lab so if you want to put something else up fine but they have not gone through all of these games which I think are really good uh, practice and building blocks for the others but you can choose other test drives as you see fit for your individual classroom and individual student needs. So to go back, you click here, you do all the um, code, and then once you see this nice little cute penguin guy, you drag him right off to your desktop, and here is your um, ST Math ready for your students to click on. Now if you're wondering how I got the cute little picture, I do a screenshot which is shift command 4 and once I do the screenshot I click back on my um, location or shortcut and I do command I and I click on that and as you can see it's highlighted then I go to my picture and I open that up and I go up to edit and I select all of it I copy it and I paste it right there. Boom! That changes your icon on your desktop to one that's got a picture that your children can go directly to and find. Much like an iPad, that's how I set up the computer lab. So, that is how you would uh, put this on to your student computers in your room and that allows the students who have the licenses to go directly to their password now if they haven't learned their password which we've been working on in lab they would click on the equal sign and you would have to type their student number in whatever that is and uh, then the password for all students is pound student one APS and I have some blank login cards which will be in the lounge in case your kids need that to log in or if they are without a license, you can do the test drive as I showed you by using your credentials as a teacher and getting them in on the test drive. Okay, so that's the quickie tutorial. If you have any questions, please email me at lopez underscore cr at aps.edu. <laughs>